Handling energy vampires is tricky business, especially in today's 3D survival society, and even more so as an empath. I've had so many clients come to me explaining that they're stuck in a relationship with a narcissist, with an alcoholic, with an abuser, all classic energy vampires. And oftentimes, this situation is made worse because it's the vampire that's providing the income for the family. And then there can often be children involved, which makes it even more difficult to extract yourself from the situation. In this video, we'll help identify, understand, and begin the journey of extracting yourself from an energy vampire situation. I'll also be providing a confidence boost activation that you can use as a leg up to get started on this process. Energy vampirism is a misnomer. It's actually impossible for someone else to take energy from you, especially without your permission. You are always pulling your energy from the unlimited energy resources of the universe. And even though it feels like someone else is draining your energy, what's actually happening is they know how to push all of your buttons and lower your vibration and put themselves in a position of power over you, which is exhilarating for them and exhausting for you. If we look at this diagram, the top is the unlimited energy resources of the universe. And then this is your abuser and this is you. At this point, instead of them extracting energy from you, you are actually blocking your own energy supply and they are increasing theirs. It's good that it's all within your power, but it still can be a difficult challenge to overcome. So how do you free yourself? This is a simple concept, but for many, it's a difficult path to get there. You have to raise your vibration high enough so that you feel confident in your future, you feel confident in yourself, and you are filled with self-love to make the right decision to move on with your life. The first thing that you must do as a victim is ask yourself deeply and honestly a difficult question. Are you in fact addicted to this relationship with this energy vampire? One of the first indications that you might be is if you are offended that I would e even suggest that you ask yourself this question. Some deep soul searching is really important here because if you are in fact addicted to this energy vampire relationship, then you will inadvertently foil all of your own plans to separate yourself from that situation. Could it be that your vibration is now so low that you have begun to relish the victim role? This happens when you feel like you're the good guy and they're the bad guy. This can feel good because your self-esteem is now so low that the only way that you feel as though you can get support from friends and family is to demonstrate how bad your life is or how bad the situation is. One way to test this is to picture yourself completely free of your vampire and living your own life on your own. Let's say that you're able to earn money and take care of yourself and your children if you have any. When you imagine this situation, how do you feel? The first few weeks or month, it might feel absolutely fantastic, but imagine how it might be six months later. Your friends and family who have been so supportive of you now believe that everything's okay, so they don't need to pay you so much attention. Would you feel alone? And if that scares you more than dealing with the vampire, then you are actually addicted to this negative attention. And if you have determined that you are in fact addicted, then congratulations. That is a huge step because self-awareness is everything. And now you can begin the journey, the path to get yourself out of this difficult relationship and on to a healthy life. The next step, which is also somewhat difficult, is to recognize that your energy vampire is your greatest teacher. This is difficult because you look at them as so abusive, so dangerous, so difficult but they are teaching you how to be an amazing spiritual being. They have led you down a path toward a spiritual existence, perhaps, but you need to check deeply and understand what is it that they're driving you to do? What is it that they're improving in you? And maybe it's improving your resolve. 
It's forcing you to boost your confidence. It's forcing you to be a better version of yourself. While it might not seem like it right now, you are a powerful spiritual being. You are here to not only help yourself, but to help others as well. Your soul contract states that you are here to heal the world. By freeing yourself from this situation, you'll be able to use this experience to help others who are going through similar situations. Your energy vampire has no idea that they are your teacher, of course, but every difficult situation that they put you in gives you an opportunity to transcend. And with all of that practice, you'll be a spiritual master and a guru in no time, if you look at it correctly. Begin a gratefulness practice. Yes, I know, you've heard this before. It, everybody talks about using the gratefulness practice. There are many reasons that it's important. First of all, it's fairly easy to find a bunch of things that you're grateful for or to dive into detail about why family member X is important to you or, or why you love sunsets. This puts you in a higher vibrational mindset. The gratefulness is very high on the emotional frequency chart. It's so high that it's only one step away from unconditional love. And unconditional love is the highest vibrational experience you can have, save for enlightenment itself. See my video on Paramananda for more information on this. By putting yourself in a state of gratitude, you are raising your mindset vibration. And when you do this, you begin to lift yourself out of the place of victimhood, codependence, and reliance on your energy vampire. Please watch this gratefulness video for some helpful practices. Another practice that will help you on your path is to meditate. And we often think of meditation as this advanced technique of having a thoughtless mind. But actually, one of the easier ways to do it is to just simply listen. If you go into a meditative state where you close your eyes and focus on your breathing, you can ask questions of the darkness. And this is you speaking to your inner master or speaking to the voice of universal knowledge. And just like if you were having a conversation with someone else, you would ask a question and then listen for a response. That's essentially all you're doing. And if some errant thoughts come in, then just ask the question again and wait patiently. Improve your diet. Eat fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, nuts, avoid processed foods. Try to avoid dairy, try to avoid meat, but whatever works for you, as long as you aren't doing processed foods, will help you a great deal at raising your vibration. Another big one to help against the energy vampire is to focus on pulling from the unlimited energy reserves of the universe. And this is a very simple process. Just simply close your eyes every morning when you wake up and make a declaration. I am choosing to pull from the unlimited energy reserves of the universe today instead of my own. I've had many people do this and they've reported great success where at the end of their day they would feel exhausted but after they did this practice at the end of each day they still have some energy to do some chores around the house or to do something that they really enjoy this will keep you from cutting off your energy supply when your energy vampire pushes your button breathe take long deep breaths bring that oxygen into your cells and feel the buzz the expression the life consider doing a breathwork exercise Either find a breathwork class in your area or follow a YouTube breathwork workshop. It can be profound and life-changing and highly vibrational. Ground yourself. Step outside barefoot and enjoy that energy exchange between you and Mother Gaia. Decalcify your pineal gland. You probably know all about this already, but don't drink fluoridated water. And there are many supplements and food types that will help decalcify your pineal gland, which will open your third eye and allow you to have discernment. There are plenty of videos and information about this online as well. Raise your vibration through energy work. There's an MP3 you can download from my website that will raise your vibration every time you listen to it. I would definitely grab it and listen to it a few times a week. You'll see a big difference. Practice finding the positives. 
anytime something bad happens to you, try to take a few moments and understand what kind of lessons you were going to get out of it. How did it change you for the better? You can even look further back in your past and, and, and apply this exercise as well. The more that you can recognize that negative experiences cause positive results, the less likely you will go down a lower vibrational path anytime something bad happens. And when you're living with or around an energy vampire, things go bad all the time. Walk up the vibrational frequency chart. The vibrational frequency chart is an incredible tool to help you raise your mindset vibration. By taking a look at some of your negative emotional experiences through the lens of higher vibrational ones, you can begin to raise your vibration just by changing your perspective. Let's take fear for example. If you are having a worry or fear-based experience and you are actually living full-time in that fear-based experience, you can begin to look at that with higher and higher vibrational emotions. Right above neutrality, the first one is acceptance. You can accept the fact that you're having this fear-based experience. Instead of running from it, instead of wishing that it wasn't there, you can relax and say, okay, it's okay that I'm having this. I'm a human being after all, and this is a natural experience. This is just trying to help me with my survival. Then you can move up the chart a little bit more. Optimism. I am optimistic that I will find a way to get out of this fear experience. I am optimistic that I will find the positive in this fear experience and it'll help me grow. You can move up the chart even further. You can have excitement. I am excited that this fear experience is bringing me so much knowledge. I am excited that I will learn so much from this fear experience that I'll be able to help others in the future or that I'll be able to help myself the next time it happens. Moving up even further, you can get to the point where you can be grateful for your fear experience, for all the lessons that it's teaching you and all the opportunities that it'll open up in your future. And finally, if you can be grateful for your fear experience, you can take the next small step and have unconditional love for it. It may not seem feasible right now to unconditionally love your fear experience, but if you can love anything at all unconditionally, then you'll find your mindset vibration rising every time. At this time, I'd like to go ahead and provide a confidence boost activation. All you need to do for this is simply get yourself in a comfortable position with your feet flat on the floor and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a nice big deep breath and relax as you exhale. Feel yourself sinking into your chair. This is a nice and simple activation that will give you a boost of confidence. You can rewatch this over and over again anytime you need to feel this sense of confidence. I want you to picture yourself sitting outside at night. It's a warm and comfortable evening and there are no lights anywhere. As you look up to the stars, the sky is full of light. And it's as though you can see all the constellations and there is some angelic being that is drawing the lines to show you where they all are dancing in the sky. My activations work like this. I will say breath in. You'll take a nice big deep breath, you'll hold it at the top, and you'll wait for me to say the word awaken, at which point you can exhale. Breath in. Awaken. Good. In a vision, I saw you rising up to the sky and, and dancing with the constellations.
when you're ready to take the first step on separating yourself from your energy vampire situation because you deserve it because you are perfect and you've never made a mistake in your entire life. Everything that you've ever done has gotten you to exactly where you are right now. So congratulations, you did it. And you cannot make a mistake moving forward either. It's impossible. You'll always get to exactly where you're supposed to go. So when you're ready for all of this and to recognize that truth, then you can open your eyes. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. There's another great MP3 that you can download off my website for free that will help you get a boost of energy. You can find a link to this video in the description below. And so once again, I thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you can be notified of future updates. And you can also check out these other videos, also full of activations and tools to help you on your journey, on your path to ascension and enlightenment. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.